Next question is from The Real Rashton. In your opinion, are squats with dumbbells, goblet, or front-loaded as effective as barbell squats for targeting the quads? They could be more effective depending on the person. Yeah. Now, th here's the drawback, right? A barbell sitting on your shoulder, especially if you have a good, if you can rack it well or support it well, you can load yeah. much heavier. It's hard to load something that substantial, uh, you know, with a kettlebell or even or your dumbbells. So... Uh, I, yeah, I prefer a, a barbell for that reason, mainly for the loading reason. But yeah, it, it is tough to get in the technique and, and you, you have to have really good wrist mobility. and, and have Wrist and shoulder mobility. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people can't do a, a, a front squat very well. No. Mm -hmm. So that the, we use the goblet squat a lot, or at least I did in training clients. Um, for that exact reason. I mean, I would prefer to do a front loaded squat. It'd be ideal because to your point, you can load it. So it's not gonna, you're not going to be able to hit it as hard. But the truth is a lot of clients just didn't have that shoulder and wrist mobility or it was extremely uncomfortable for them to do that. So I tended to do a, a goblet squat uh, more often than not. So for that reason, it, it can be more effective. So if you have a client that can't do it, then of course it's it's great. Good point. But, and speaking to that, uh, I, I, and you showed me this, Adam, I – Almost, I, I did lots of goblet squats and, and you know front loaded squats with, with kettlebells and dumbbells with clients exactly for what you for the reason you said, but never almost never for myself. I liked the barbell. I liked that I could load it with a lot more weight. I wouldn't be able to do this with dumbbells, so I kind of never did them on my own. I did a leg leg workout with Adam, and I don't remember we did like one or two exercises first, probably a squat and some split stance something, and then what you did is you had us elevate our heels, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we stood with our heels elevated. So we had a, I don't remember what it was, but imagine a block under your heels. So you're almost up on your toes, but not quite right. And then we did, we held the dumbbell in this kind of goblet position and really slow, went all the way down, came up and squeezed the quads. Now we're both pretty strong in our legs. We didn't use, I think the dumbbell we used was 50 pounds, I yeah. think, which is light, right? Yeah. That's not even a bar. That's a little bit heavier than a, a, a bare barbell. Oh my God, the workout I got in my quads from that. And till this day, uh, when I really want to target my quads, especially after I've already done heavy squats, I'll do that exact exercise, elevated heels, hand on the dumbbell. And it's like, I mean, it hits my quads harder than almost any other exercise. I, I love that. I'd say it's one of my favorite ways to, to kind of finish off a leg workout because I'm already taxed from the backloaded squat or the Bul Bulgarian squat. So I've already hit them hard enough. Now I'm just getting pumped and I love doing that.